Hey everybody, Timothy Karambat, founder of Ramp. And in the previous video, we went over how to manage your contract, get it listed on OpenSea, and all of the ins and outs of what you can do on that page. But the next part is, now that we're contract is live, we're on OpenSea, we've minted ourselves a token, how do we make it to where other people can just, you know, find our website and buy a token? So to do that, Ramp has a thing called a minting button. And this is a simple button that you can take and paste into any no-code website uh, at all, like Wix, WordPress, and of course, our friends, TypeDream. TypeDream, it works flawlessly. Uh, I can vouch that it works perfectly fine. So if you have issues uh, on other websites, we can try to help you debug, but I can't make any promises. Uh, as far as the widget goes, it is just a HTML widget. So if you have a website that allows you to do this, uh, embed code into the website, then you should be perfectly fine, even if it is iframed, if you're familiar with that term. So these are the mint buttons. This is very basic. Uh, you start out with a very simple one. There are two that you can choose from. There is a single and a multi-mint. So if you want to allow people to mint more than one at a time, this is how you would do that. Uh, we're going to say that the mint text is called get monkey. Uh, and if the mint tech, if the mint is closed to the public, uh, then we would just say the mint is closed. And if we run out of tokens, all the tokens have been minted. We're going to have a, you know, just, you know, button radius of whatever. And let's just show how many have been claimed. This will actually show uh, the claim count underneath it. And even in, if you want people to go to a different web page on your site, once you are done, uh, once the mint is trans, like, you know, once, once it's completed and you want them to go to like a, uh, you know, slash thanks page, or you want them to go directly to your discord to go verify with collab land. That's the link that, that is where you would put that. Um, let's do our mint text color as white and let's do our button color as black. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? Let's do monk monkey. Okay. All right. So we have our previews, we have our buttons. Uh, what do we do with this information? You'll notice that there are two snippets, one that connects to our testnet contract, so you don't have to use real ETH, and then the other that is your mainnet contract. Now, in order for this snippet to be available, you of course have to have deployed your contract on mainnet. So there is a little bit of a chicken and the egg problem here. You wanna make sure that you have uh, you know, done this whole gambit and then deployed the mainnet, then came and grabbed your mint button and put it on your page. So how are we going to make a page? Well, the easiest way to do that is going to be with using our friends type dream. So we'll go back to this mint button and landing page. We'll go to type dream. Uh, you actually have a code here, ramp 10, and you save 10% on your first year. If you subscribe to a paid plan, uh, I have an account at TypeDream. It's just a basic account. It is exactly what you would get if you had started from nothing. Um, I highly recommend upgrading to a paid account because they obviously have a lot of actually Web3 specific stuff like token gated pages. Um, they actually have a template straight from the beginning, Web3. And you actually see they use the pudgy penguins, which is, <laughs> that's really cool. Uh, so we're gonna pick this template and whoop. And then it's going to say, what kind of design do we want? They have one design currently. We are actually doing an NFT. So we will add this page. And we don't really need, I don't think, any, uh, any more pages. But you know what? Let's just do it anyway. Let's just add it all in. Sorry, just drinking some coffee. OK, so this is a tutorial, but we're experts already. So oh, hold on just one second. Give it a second to load. Perfect. OK. So buy and own, this says Penguin Digital Arts. I'm gonna say Monkey Digital. Oh. It's probably, my computer is running so slow because of the screen recorder that I'm using. And you'll see that we actually have a button here. Um, it's, you know, pretty, it's, it's actually a container with text in it. We wanna add an actual button. So here is how we would do that. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is trash that. And then we're gonna add a new element here type a slash that they, it's kind of like notion uh that's like a really awesome feature of type dream it's it's a lot like notion and the uh component i suppose that we're looking for is called embed and it says embed html videos and form sites uh forms or sites and that is when you would go back to ramp go to your testnet block or your mainnet block depending on which one you're trying to deploy 
you would click on that it would copy it to your clipboard and that is when whoop, sorry that's grammarly going crazy we would we would click on this go to code click this insert code Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Git Monkey is now fully deployed. Uh, you know, you'll notice that like our background and stuff, like we really didn't style this at all. We we just used the uh, the very basic, um, the very basic uh, template. But we're just gonna you know change some stuff real quick. We'll just call it Monkey Labs, okay? And that's pretty much it. Uh, we probably want to center this. Um, there is a way to do just that. There we go. And yeah uh this container is like absolutely massive uh that's my own doing um we can shrink this but oh here we go let's just like oh didn't mean to do that obviously i am an expert um okay that's pretty much it but now that we have this button here and we know it's pulling the correct button from ramp like you know how do we how do we go and make mint stuff now like how do i have somebody come and mint well what we'll do is we'll go to publish do, 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 do. and your site is now live and we're going to get this type dream dot app site and you'll notice that it loads it has all of our changes already we can buy and own monkey digital but now i have this mint button and because i have metamask installed let's just say i'm just some random person like i've never been on this website before but it's your website and you added your ramp mint button when i click this button it will then ask me to connect my wallet to rinkaby because we're on the Rinkaby network. I will click next. It will then do connecting. It will then automatically be like, oh, you want to mint one? Okay, well, the mint price is 0 0.01 per token. And let's just say I say reject. I say no, that's that's not what I wanted. Um, I think the max mint we have is two per transaction. So let's buy two at once. So we'll go here, click this button. Okay, mint fee is now 0 0.02. Makes perfect sense because 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 and I'll let you guess what the rest was. Okay, uh, we'll click confirm and it'll show that this minting status is minting. You'll also notice because I didn't change the color of this text, but that says five out of 100 claimed, which makes sense because the first 500, I mean, the, not the first 500, the first five tokens we admin minted. And actually now uh, you'll see that my transaction just got confirmed and it was 4.02 ETH. So things are looking good. A random person, which in this case just happened to be me, um, came to a site that I embedded my testnet button in and was instantly able to buy our token with no effort. And all you did was just copy and paste this embed into a site builder like TypeDream, and you've unlocked all of this potential already without any code. I mean, that's honestly just a beautiful thing, but maybe I'm just tooting my own horn. But outside of all of this, there is something that actually is more important, and that is getting your money. So most people uh, want to be able to get paid for their work. And as you know, we just bought two tokens for 0 0.02 ETH. So since we're on testnet, we're going to want to go to the withdraw ETH page, and you'll notice 0 0.02 ETH is in the contract balance. And if you were to cash this out, it would pay 0 0.001 to ramp and 0 0.019 to the contract owner address. And because the team is just the person who deployed this contract, that is why it only shows two addresses. If you have a team of five, just divvy it up, whatever the percentages are that are fair and equitable for everybody in your team, and they will automatically get calculated here. And the way to pay everybody is you would just click this withdraw button. It's going to prompt you for a transaction and you will see the transaction is called withdraw all. And once you click confirm, this will actually take all of the balance that is on the contract, split it up mathematically correct for everybody, and then the contract balance will now be completely zero. Um, and you can then start to you know accumulate more ETH. You'll notice that the contract balance went back down to zero. And so now we have fully tested our button. We know we're working on OpenSea. Like we know our contract works on OpenSea. We know our mint button works. We know that everything about our contract works. So the next part is deploy to mainnet. Well, deploying to mainnet, as I mentioned in a previous video, is literally exactly the same as deploying to a testnet. You're just using real ETH now. So to do this, you would just go to this little airplane icon, click deploy to mainnet. You would switch to the mainnet network, which it will ask you to do. 
And then it is going to make sure that you have tested the contract functionality and it works as desired and you agree to the mainnet launch terms and conditions, which basically means like, you know, essentially like uh, you agree with how the contract looks and you're happy with it. That's pretty much all we're asking here. Um, now we just have to pay gas to deploy. Uh, I don't know what Ethereum gas is at right now. So let's just get a quote. 48 GUE. That's really damn good. Um, we're going to click on the one click deploy button. And you'll see that to deploy our full contract today at 48 GUE, which honestly, if I just waited probably like, you know, till uh, like uh, 11 p.m. tonight, I could probably get away with a $200 deployment, to be completely honest. But you'll see that right now it would cost $689, which is about average. Um, 1000 is really high. I would not, I would just wait. Uh, the, the way to do this cost effectively is to wait essentially until America goes to sleep. Um, because that is what keeps ETH gas pretty high. We're going to reject that, though, because I don't want to spend $600 right now to deploy my fake monkey contract, but it would work. The process would work exactly the same. We would click deploy, copy the transaction hash, paste it here, copy the contract address, paste it here, click save, validate our contract, and then we would go to our dashboard that would now exist once we're deployed. We would admin mint ourselves a token, which I'll show you just in case you skip the other videos and want to see what that looks like. We would go to admin mint a token, give ourselves a token, and then we would go to openc.io and we would go to our collections. I'll just go directly to the URL. It's get listed, openc.io slash get listed. We are then now live on a main net. We are on the Ethereum blockchain. We would paste in our contract address and now your tokens will be now your whole collection and project is live on ethereum and then the last step is just going back to your type dream site going to the embeddable widget and instead of copying the testnet block copy the mainnet block swap them out and then go into your discord and tell everybody that you're live and that everybody can go and mint your contract and from there just uh you know Keep an eye on how many tokens are being minted, you know, announcements and all of that stuff. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how you go from absolutely no images at all to a fully deployed mainnet contract where anybody can mint and you're listed on OpenSea and everything's done and you have 100% ownership and visibility and you did it all with ramp without any code. So. Things are going to be changing in the future. Um, obviously, we'll be adding more features as time goes on. I'll try to keep this playlist updated with all of the more recent features as we start to build them. But for the most part, uh, this will get you through 99% of the time. So if you have any questions, feel free to hop into our Discord. It's where we're most responsive. Uh, if not, you can click on this little chat bubble in the uh, bottom right. But that's it for this demonstration. I hope you all had a wonderful, educating time, and I look forward to seeing you use Ramp in the future. And if you have any questions, again, let me know. This is Timothy Karambat. Thank you.